What's up, YouTube? Just got through doing a. That's this is not what this video is about, but the latest little trick I did to my AR. Um, and I learned this technique. I, and I could be wrong on this. I, I'll I'll try to uh, look back and see, but it's. It wasn't what the video is about, so I don't know, but it's a pretty neat trick. And the reason I did it is because I live in South Carolina. And the fact that my lower, let's hope that's focusing, was made in South Carolina. So essentially, this AR-15 was made in South Carolina, which they do make actually a, a um, M16s in South Carolina, but thought that was a pretty new, cool trick. Uh, highlight is Pal Palmetto State Armory, Columbia, South Carolina, and the uh, their little logo and stuff. And I did this, and it's a pretty high tech. But in case you didn't know about it, I used a white crayon. <laughs> It took me a while to like get it dug in and then I'd take a rag in my finger and I'd wipe it off and then I'd have to go back and just over and over and over to really get a good finish. And and it's one of those things like you really don't give a damn if it falls out or it starts looking bad. It's just freaking crayon. I mean, you know. But it does highlight it and make it look nice. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Um I was about to do this video and I was like, let me just try that and see how it works out. So I thought that's pretty neat. Uh, I won't say it was Prepper Chicky, but it, it could have been some other uh, lady. It was it was some chick, anyway, on this on my uh, subscribers list. Uh, but my reason for making this video, I'll take this sling out of the way, is if you checked out my video yesterday, you see me shooting this AR at a uh, steel plate. I left just a little bit of it in there, but you notice that I got the last shot I did, and then it, whether you can hear it or not, it clicked, and I looked at the gun, and that's where the video went on to the next step. And what happened was, is it clicked. I got a, I got a, you know, click. You know, pulled the bolt back shell came out or a case and uh, nothing on it no dimple there was no dimple on the primer and I was like well that was kind of weird so I you know let it go and I, I did just like three or four shots I even broke the action open made sure nothing was down the barrel and in my video I said it was one thing after another a bunch of little glitches and I was having a hard time yesterday um, it just seemed like one little problem after another nothing big but anyway and what I figured out was I determined in a very short time, which I knew it was coming, was I broke a firing pin. And that's why I just set it to the side and went on to the AK and stuff. And what I had done, and it, and that's why I didn't even mention it in the video. I, I knew it when I was shooting my AK that I had a broke firing pin in my AR, but I didn't mention it. But I knew that eventually it was going to happen. And... Um, and the reason I knew that was because you may or may not have seen in some of my past videos, I said I had some uh, Wolf WPA <laughs> chalk dust all over everything um, that wouldn't fire every time. I changed the hammer spring and made it a stiffer hammer spring. Um, and one thing I did, like a dummy, and, and I knew it at the time, but it was you know firing pins pretty cheap, so I was just taking a gamble. What I done, I hope this is focusing, is this little shoulder right here, I tried to cut that back with a file. And I did. Uh, but what that what I ended up doing is I cut into the thickness. I actually cut into the firing pin tip right there. And after I got done and looking at it, and I was like, you know what, that firing pin's gonna break. That tip's gonna break off. And I was right. It broke off. So that's where we at right now. But I had a, or I got another uh, firing pin 
just because I knew that was going to happen. Uh, I started to take it out and put it back to the side and say, well, that'll be a spare. But I decided, well, let's let me run it. You know, if you got a damaged firing pin, how long can you run it before it may actually fail? And it probably took actually a thousand rounds before it finally broke. And that was with me cutting it with a file. So it was no fault of the gun, no fault of the firing pin, no fault of the ammunition. The only fault lies on me. I did it. So um, I, I'm. It's, I don't. Even, I have never even talked to anybody that's broke a firing pin in an AR-15. I'm not saying it can't happen. They sell extra, so obviously it can. Anything can happen when you're dealing with machinery, and this is a machine, so anything can happen. Uh, that's actually the only. Th the third firing pin I've ever seen broke in any kind of gun, and both of those were a 9mm pistol, so, other than mine, but I'm the one that screwed it up, it wasn't the gun's fault, so, since I'm doing this anyway, I thought I'd do a little video, I'm go ahead, gun's empty, um, break this thing open. And I'm going to try to use the only tool, supposedly, you need to field strip a bolt in AR-15. Still think it looks pretty cool like that. Anyway, let's set that to the side because I'm done with that. I don't need it anymore. Here's all I need. I need the bolt. Alright. Here's the tool you need. Pull that pin out. There's your firing pin. See, the tip broke off. And I'm sure it's not going to focus it to see where I had modified it. But anyway, like I said, there again, my fault. So, right now, all I got to do is stick this firing pin in there, technically. But, I don't know if you can see it, but the tip is still in there. Let me just see how hard this is going to get out. There it is. It doesn't take much. There's the tip. That little piece there is supposed to be connected to that. So, like I said, entirely my fault. It's not the gun's fault. No uh, fault of the gun, ammunition, or anything else. Uh, and in case you didn't know, if you did want to know, how to field strip a bolt on AR. I even had a friend on a side note ask me because he did a lot of reading. He just bought an AR-15 in the past year, probably a year and a half ago or so. And he asked me because he kept reading about people talking about the gas and punishment system and how bad it was and dirty and da da da. Which I convinced him that it's no big deal. Yeah, your bolt gets dirty. But anyway, this piece here, after you take the firing pin out, I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir, but in case you didn't know, this is how easy it is to strip a bolt down in AR-15. You see me take this pin out, the little carter pin, firing pin comes out. This spins, pull it out, and that comes out. And that's it. And you can take your rag, your solvents, or whatever you, you got, WD-40, whatever, Wipe this down, uh, and this is pretty clean. I just cleaned it the other day. Uh, this is where the carbon builds up, and there's actually maybe a little bit of carbon on it right now, but not enough for me to worry about. You clean all that up. Make sure these rings right here aren't broke. I've heard of people having problems with these rings breaking. Uh, those are the gas rings. Are lined up. I need to separate them. There we go. It's like a piston ring. You want to? What is a piston ring? Okay. So we want to put it back in. The ejector spring part. The claw. You want that on your right side. When you're going back, put that in 
there, spin it. My new firing pin. My little cutter pin back in. That's the only thing I sometimes have a problem with is uh, getting at the seat because the little legs Well, right now, make me look bad. Hear my phone going off. Alright, that gummy. Don't make me damn edit this. I guess that's why they make aftermarket ones, because they. See what happens is that spreading out on me. There we go. Popped in finally. Alright. So that was a firing pin replacement. So if anybody ever tells you that AR-15 is hard to clean, hard to take apart, difficult, blah blah blah. You gotta get everything lined up right. There you go. So, that's gonna be out. What's in that world going on here? Now, I know I stumbled through that a little bit, but at the same time, you've seen how easy it was, so let me try it again. One more time, just for the heck of it. The bolt, charging handle, rifle. Put the pin out, iron pin comes out. Push that in, turn that. There you go. You assemble. Line your hole up. Like I said, the claw, the extractor claw, is going to be to your right hand, to your ejector port. Let's hope this uh, little cutter pin cooperates a little better this time. There's that. Firing pin. Come on now, get in there. I don't have a flashlight on me, so I can't. There we go. All right, that's all it is. I just ain't lined up with the whole charging handle. Put that in the slot. All I gotta do is just make sure the this part here is out. Stick it in there. Ready to rock and roll. Easy enough. There you go. Just a little quick uh, video. Still think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm curious to see how that one is going to hold up. Uh, anyway, my little video of the day of a firing pin repair on AR-15. Uh, just thought, I know I didn't get real technical, but just show you how easy it is. Some people are intimidated by the AR-15 because they think, oh, maybe there's a lot of little parts in there and it's hard to deal with and blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. It's really as simple as crap. This thing is made for an average GI to be able to field strip in a foxhole, clean, put back together, but back in working order. Now, granted, that's not a full takedown of the rifle, but as you can see, for a basic field strip, if you needed it, that's the only tool you need, and that was to only get that little carter pan out. That's it. You take one of the bullets out of the magazine, pop that carter pan out. And most of the time it'll come out with your fingers, but if you didn't, that's it. Anyway, just a little update there.